All right, let's bring in Max Letterman to find out what's trending. What do you got, Max? Well, I'll tell you what's trending, at least in my house the last two days. The uh, Northeastern Huskies CAA Championships going to the big dance. Let's run the tape and take a look. Vasa Pazika was on his game, or Pazitsa. Sorry, I'm really not good at pronouncing. I know, Tom Giles has been trying to kill me. Uh, I keep pronouncing it wrong. He had seven threes, Northeastern CAA champions, and that got me thinking about Jalen Brown tonight. He was... Uh, doing a bit of a Vasa Pajitsa impersonation. Uh, and you can see the folks of Weird Celtics Twitter uh, didn't let it go by. That's Jalen putting his uh, alien brain in. Then he got the third eye activated. And this is my favorite one coming up here. This is, this is some real art. Some hey. real art here. That is. But I want to uh, I want to talk to you about the turning point in the game. And I don't think anybody's really mentioned it. Uh, Marcus Smart is, I think, one of the more sneaky athletic uh, players on the team. He's extremely athletic, but it only shows in times like that. Uh, and that spark, they were down 10 points. And let's just pull up the full screen here, guys. This is the run that they went off on after that moment. They were down 10 points, 56-40, hitting all them shots, all those assists. Marcus Smart. Or Smart kip up the third. Baby Smart, baby. Smart, do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, this guy, come on, man. My kids are older than that. Nah, bro. Nah, dude. Yeah. Like, my no. kids are older my son, than yours. All my son watches is Kyrie and Steph Curry on YouTube. He doesn't watch any cartoons. It's not me. What about him. Marcus Smart? <laughs> he doesn't watch Marcus Smart defense highlights? Cause... No, I got I to gotta teach him how to. He, doesn't, he only likes Kyrie and Steph. I, and I nowadays, understand. with a microphone, show me Steph Curry. Oh, I know, that's okay, crazy. But we got to go around yeah. the NBA, guys. There was actually right, some right. uh, important stuff for the standings here. The Thunder were up 19 points in the second half, and they lost to the Pacers. Indiana is a hard out. They're, they're not going away. I think we've all just assumed that without Aladipo, they're going to fall to four or five. I'm not sure that's a given anymore. No, you might be right. Good thing, yo, Max. The Celtics have two games left against these guys. Those are going to be two big games if you're talking about home court advantage, I think. Indy or Philly? Or No, we got two against Indy and, and one, one against, against the Philly. Sixers. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Like, I'm not worried about them in the playoffs, but I just worry in terms of seeding. That's that's going to be, they're going to be tough. They're just, they're refusing I wanna to give be up. Four, I, I want to be four. If you're asking me, I want to be four. I, don't, I, Milwaukee I think second. Milwaukee is beatable. I do. I agree. Okay. But a lot of people, a lot of people think Milwaukee's going to go to the finals. I think, I think Milwaukee's beatable. Well, they've been the best team in the NBA all season. I think that's why. Exactly. All right, Max. That's it. Yeah. Is that it? All right, Max. We'll we see you talk uh, more Saturday. Good Start. job with the freeze. I don't know if that was you, nah, but the freeze that's not was Max. sweet. Let's not. No, don't give him credit for that. He okay. has to start working on Celtics post up.